This is truly a special presentation. This is an 8th edition core set. I purchased this on eBay. It's an open booster box. It was 36 packs, sealed packs they said. I paid roughly 130 bucks. As you can see, this shit's a little beat up. Uh, whatever. I don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf. Holy shit. Maybe that was $2.99 a pack at the time? I don't know. Uh, good luck trying to find these for $2.99 a pack now. But holy shit. Um, I went on a hunt today. Spent... I got to work at 4. Uh, it's like 8.30, 9 o'clock. This video is probably going to upload the following day. This was all I was able to find after I went to about eight different Walmarts. I've already been to 10 in the area. I ventured out starting like 30, 40 miles away from my house. Could not find a single another cube. Much to my dismay. I'm very sad to say that, but it is what it is. Uh, I put a lot of time and effort into finding that shit. When I said, when I played it all nonchalant, yeah, you went to the store and bought two. Um... I drove that day for five hours as well, looking for cubes. I did not have uh, much luck. I went to 10 places that day, and I ended up finding a total of two. And you guys have already seen those opened on the channel. So that really sucks, but at least the ones I did find were really freaking good. But because the, the word is out, especially around where I live... People gobbled these up before I even had the chance. I was freaking lucky to find those two. So if you guys have found cubes, let me know about them. Uh, anyway, let's get on to this shit. Invisibility, Slay, Lesser, Gargadon, a Swamp. I think that means we got a foil. Nope. We got an Elvish Piper, though. Damn, it's so different now. Piper's a sweet-ass card. You want to talk about cheating creatures into play? This is the gem mine for doing that. Takes four to bring out. Tap one forest. Tap the card. Put a creature card from your hand into play. This is my absolute number one favorite elf card ever. I never. I don't even have this artwork yet. That is freaking nasty. Now, because I bought this with the booster, uh, the booster box open already, I'm really hoping that these weren't pack searched, or not pack searched, but weighed. How I weigh the Walmart cubes? I guess Karma's a bitch, huh? And they ended up. Um, removing all of the foil cards. Again, I purchased it on eBay. You got to be careful what you purchase on there. Uh, or not what you purchase, but who you purchase from. But 130 bucks, I wanted an auction. I could not pass up on that deal. It was just too damn good to be true. But this is 8th edition. This is, marks like the 10th anniversary of something. If someone wants to help me out with what that 10th anniversary is... Uh, that would be freaking badass. I can't remember what the hell it was. I did some research on it earlier, but this is as good as a Modern Masters booster box. No joke, as long as there's the foils in here. It's as, just as, oh shit! Cutthroat. Oh my god. Lord of the Undead. All zombies get plus one, plus one for deuce. Tap it, return target zombie card from your graveyard to your hand. That is freaking nasty in 8th edition foil island. There is a little nick up in here, though. I do see some damage. Do you see the damage? It's right up in the corner, top left. That is sick as hell, though. What a freaking pack. I don't know what 8th edition foils go for, but I would assume at least 5 bucks. Damn, Lord of the Dead's probably like 10 Holy shit, and in mint condition. So we got back-to-back -back awesome freaking pools. I hate to say this, but I'm probably only going to do half the box right now. Because... I think this is some awesome stuff, and I want to take my time on it, and I don't want to have a 35-minute video. So, there you have it, guys. Sorry. But, man, this, it almost takes me back because it was around, I mean, like, uh, Elvish Piper, that was around when I played the first time around before I returned to the game. Solidarity. Um, but, holy shit, that was in Urza Saga, and that's a, a, maybe about a year after is when I left. Steel Artifact. This is cool. Freaking Island. What's our rare, baby? Death Pits of Wrath. That's from Tempest. I'm 99.9% .9 positive that's from Tempest. Because, again, that was around the freaking time I played. Wow, this is so vintage. Not Well, maybe not vintage, but this is, well, let's, I guess, close to it. 
But this is such old school awesome shit. Whenever a creature is dealt damage, destroy it. It can't be regenerated. Fudge. Fudge pecking. Ah, good. That is freaking nasty. Well, we got one foil already. That's cool. I'm not sure what a foil island's worth. How's everyone feeling? Man, I am worn out because I freaking spent a total of 10 hours driving around trying to find cubes, and all I found was two uh, in both of my attempts to go out and find them. So I just want you guys to know, like, I really put a lot of effort into making this channel sweet, but... And what really hurts my feelings, like, honestly, freaking mountain, um, is when someone hits up my channel and they're like, dude, you probably faked that cube. No, dickhead, I didn't fake the cube. I spent a lot of freaking time trying to find cubes and they're all bought up because I go out, make videos about Walmart cubes, and then people go and find them. I found out late by like one or two days that the cubes were out. And that really freaking strikes a chord with me because some idiot came out with false accusations a while ago. Anyway, I don't want to ruin this video. I'm in a good mood. A um, little, little beat up from out the day, though, but... What you see on this channel is what you get. There's no bullshit. There's no tricks. So, Gaia's Herald. Creature spells can't be countered. Damn. That's pretty dope. That's a cool little elf. Not sure his value. Um, I do have a list of these pulled up in front of me. Just so I have a little go-to. It's the top 12 cards. And if I pull one of them, uh, Lord of the Undead was one of them, but I know foils in this go for a shit ton. Catalog. I mean, just look at this stuff. Coercion. Wood Elves. Wood Elves. Fugitive Wizard. Gotta make that wizard deck still. It's coming. It's coming, I swear. Wall of Swords. Wrath of Meritage. Diabolic Tutor. What? Oh, a Diabolic Tutor. I'm like, no way. So this is different how they do uh, things back in the day. Got that there. Blinding Angel. That's nasty. Flying whenever Blinding Angel deals combat damage to a player, that player skips his or her next combat phase. Whoa. Make that thing unblockable. Holy shit. We got a foil, baby. Nantuko Disciple. All right, so this person did not strip him um, of all the foils. That's freaking sweet. I don't see any damage on this. That's a plus size model, and there's nothing wrong with that. Ooh, this is this is good stuff. This is good stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. Did anyone get in uh, in this set? Mana League, baby. You get a foil of that. It's probably 10 bucks in this set. A lot of shit, and foil is worth a bunch of money in this set. Why is that upside down? Does anyone want to explain why that card was upside down? Horned Turtle. That's kind of weird. Has anyone ever opened a booster pack and the card's upside down? Coastal Tower. Island. What's the rare? Oh my god. Searing Wind. Searing Wind deals 10 damage to target creature or player. Uh, that's a lot of damage, I'm just saying. Holy shit. That is pretty intense. Stone Rain. Give me some of that pain, baby. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, I'm a little tired. Stormcrow. Uh, I know you guys love them, whatever. I don't really care for them. Lava Axe. I love a Lava Axe, though. Holy Strength. Bog Imp. Ivory Cup. Ivory Cup. Two girls, one cup. I don't even know what I said. Uh, ambitions Cost. All right, all right. Plain. Death Pit Offering Foil. Holy shit, that's a rare. Damn, when Death Pit Offering comes into play, sacrifice all creatures you control. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Not sure of the value there, but talk about awesomeness. Damn, I'm not, let me, for the sake of, of, of sakeness, uh, let me get my mouse out. Let me look up the foils, because that's really where the money's at. Oh yeah, there's like, uh, um, Ensnaring Bridge, Blood Moon, Bribery, Grave Pack, Lord of the Undead, un uh, Intruder Alarm, Elvish Champion, Wrath of God, Bra uh, City of Brass, uh, Teferi's Puzzle Box, Coat of Arms, Birds of Paradise, just to name a few of the top cards that are in this. And that's freaking dope. Let me see if I can get the foil that's pulled up and go from highest to lowest. Holy shit. Ensnaring Bridge from this is 160 bucks. Well, 150. Damn, that, wait, was that, oh, that was Grave Packed Foil. That thing's worth like 60. Holy shit. Phyrexian Arena. Which one did I pull? What was that rare I pulled? 
Uh, the Death Pit Offering. I don't know what that is. I don't see it on the top anywhere. Got an Urza's Mine up in here. Wow. So it's, it's probably like around 10 bucks, I'm guessing. Just because it's a rare. But I could be wrong. All right, I don't even see it in the top 10. So anyway, it's, it's a few bucks, I'm sure. But holy shit. This is just badass. I got a steal on this because these booster boxes are selling for like 200 bucks, 200 to 250. So for me to pay 130 for a full booster box, and it doesn't seem like uh, there's any trickery in this one, so that's cool. Demystify, destroy target enchantment for one. Salt Marsh, all up in that ass. All right, Pyroclasm, Findhorn Elder. Damn, not bad. Got the swampy. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Getting sloppy here, guys. I got three foils ready. That's really cool. Seismic assault. Discard a land card from your hand. Seismic assault deals two damage to target creature or player. It's some pretty cool artwork, though. Gotta love the artwork. Respect. What the? How did? You son of a bitch. Don't you ever come in my house and start shit with me, buddy. I don't freaking like that shit. Alright, 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 alright. I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm cool. Alright. I don't know how the hell that got in there. Clearly that's a lie. Okay, okay. I had to have put that in there. It did not come that way. But God, had I said that was in there and like went along with it, half of you would have lost your shit. So, oh my God, people these days. Damn media. I blame the media, making people believe the dumbest shit out there. Karma, let me tell you, it's coming around, buddy. It is fucking coming around. Air Elemental, Soul Feast, Swampy, Vampiric Spirit, that's nasty. Flying when Vampiric Spirit comes into play, you lose four life. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Sage Owl Foil, hell yeah. When Sage Owl comes into play, look at the top four cards of your library, then put them back in any order. I had a deck with that, uh, with that card in it a ways back. It's pretty dope. Core set. So this is 8th edition core set. Some freaking sweet stuff up in here. Catalog. Nantucko Disciple. Mind Rot. Good old Mind Rot. Elvish Pioneer. Sea Monster. Reflexes. That's another card that came from Saga. I definitely recognize those Saga cards, let me tell you what. Boil Destroy All Islands. Yavi. Yavi Maya. Enchantress. Circle of Protection Blue. These Circle of Protections are long gone, but uh, if you don't know what it is, if you're newer to the game, just imagine if this was still in. Like, imagine this in Standard or something uh, on your sideboard. For two to bring out, for one, the next time a blue source of your choice would deal damage to you this turn, prevent that damage. That's freaking brutal. Planes and a Shifting Sky. A Shifting Sky comes into play, choose a color. All nine land permanents are the chosen color. That's pretty cool. So nothing really too big yet. We did pull two little hits um, and some foils. Can't complain about them foils. Foils all day, Mala Trucker. Fugitive Wizard. Panic Attack. Sometimes I get those. I don't even know what to do. Wall of Spears. Wall of Spears. Blanchwood Armor. Peach Garden Oath. You gain two life for each creature you control. All right. And we got a mountain. Oh, no foil up in here. I don't think so, at least. Birds of Paradise all up in it! Hell yeah. Flying, tap it, add one mana of any color to your mana pool. That is beautiful. I mean, come on now. That is really pretty. That is really pretty. Oh, I'm freaking loving it. Look at the sorting skills. Can I get a, do I get an A-plus for sorting today? Except for, like, this little shit in the back here. All right, here, boom, A plus. Ta-da! Ah, oh, this stuff is so cool to open. If you're still watching, you know, like the like button, it, it helps a lot. Like, trust me, I think a foil of that's worth a stupid amount because there's not many of them or something. But yeah, the like button really helps. I mean, if you guys watch my videos all the time, especially if, if you're a subscriber and you always are watching my videos and you never hit the like button, man, that's brutal. I'm just saying, that, that's brutal. I, I would appreciate it if you did. Circular Protection Red. Fighting Drake. Planes. Trade Routes. Trade Routes. Enchantment. 
Reduce to bring in for one. Return target land you control to its owner's hand for one. Discard a land card from your hand. And draw a card. Did I mention this was like the only thing I found in my five hour adventure? I think I did. Well, there it is. <laughs> now you know. All right. I don't want to stop until I get at least one nasty pool. I think I already had a couple. Well, not nasty, but pretty solid. They're not too bad. Solidarity, coercion, reign of blades. Thieving Maggie Pie, Thieving Magpie, Bog Wrath, Swampy, Distorting Lens. Uh, for Deuce, tap target permanent, uh, tap it, target permanent becomes the color of your choice in the end of turn. I could see use for that. I really could. I really could. I could see some use for that. Especially if you're running like Circle of Protections. Holy shit. <laughs> Talk about control. Ooh, I don't know what, I think that's a, that's a foil in the back. That's a foil in the back. We got a foil in the back. Oh my god. Alright, this is good. This is good. This is good. Shh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Merchant scroll. I'm not sure what uncommons are worth. Uh, there might be something up in here worth a little something, something. Balance of power. If target opponent has more cards in hand than you, draw cards equal to the difference. Alright. Fudge, yeah. Damn, that looks pretty sweet. Try not to swear, guys. I'm really trying not to swear this time. Took my meds today. It's all good. Look at that freaking foil swamp though from 8th edition. Someone tell me the prices on the, the full, or not the full arts, sorry. I'm so used to saying full arts, full art, foil, whatever. But look at this foil swamp, 8th edition. That is some freaking dopamine right there. Straight to the dome. All right. I think I'm about halfway. Maybe I'll do this in one more pack. I think I got another foil. Hell yeah. Hopefully it's something sick. Sword Dancer. Rewind. Mind Slash. Yep, we got a foil. Planes. Damn, what's up with these rares not being that great? Uh, well, like I said, a few. Mahamati. Jin. Flying. 5-6. Panic Attack foil. Up to three target creatures. Can't block this turn. I dig it. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. I still want something nasty. Twisty. All right, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Do me good. Do me good. Do me good. What's your guys' favorite card? Does anyone have, like, a f absolute favorite card? Like, older card. I'm talking, uh, let's do 10th edition and prior. Prior to 10th edition. What is your favorite card? Mountain. I mean, it's just got a rare up in here. Emperor Crocodile. <laughs> When you control no other creatures, sacrifice Emperor Crocodile. I mean, I'm sure it had its use at one point. I think I remember that. What was that Legacy release or Destiny? One of the two. Corset, baby. Love my women in corsets. Nothing wrong with that. I think I see a foil already. You can tell because it's like blackness. Oh, the Moss Monster. What up, Joey Moss? Bada bing. I'll take it. All right, this might be the last pack, so we'll see what we get. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Circle Protection Black, Phantom Warrior, Death Gazer. Oh yeah, we got a foil up in here. Forest, Ivory Mask, come on now. Moss Monster Foil, go figure. That is funny, that is too funny. Uh, Ivory Mask, you can't be the target of spells or abilities. That's not bad, especially only for four. It's not bad at all. All right, all right, all right. you twisted my arm. I'm gonna do another one, I'm gonna do another one. I'm going to do another one for the sake of doing. Is that another foil in here? Oh, it's not. Okay, I'm like, is that another foil? Holy shit. All right. Craw worm, man. Thing's been around for a minute. All right. Ogre Taskmaster. A lot of our behemoth. Crystal Rod. Swampe. Brass Herald. Damn, we're getting burned on these freaking rares. As Brass Herald uh, comes into play, choose a creature type. When Brass Herald comes into play, reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all creature cards of the chosen type revealed this way into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Creatures of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. That's eh, not terrible. All right, another one, another one, another one. I just want to, I want to go out with a bang. I want, to, I want to go out with a bang. It's going to have to be the absolute last one, though, because I'm trying to get under 20 minutes, and we're about there. All right, boosh, 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 boosh. Swampy eh? rocks. Not out with a bang. Uh, you may have rocks deal its combat damage to a defending player as though it weren't blocked. Not too bad, not too bad. 
It's something. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Regenerate rocks. 5-5. Five, five. All right, guys. As always, peace, love, and anal.